Little girls that do our high voice singing. <laughs> Kathy Westmoreland, Kathy. There were actually three different people who had recommended me to Elvis when he, he asked people in L.A. who they'd recommend. They all recommended me, and he thought, well, I think I better call this girl. I got a call one Friday afternoon <laughs> asking uh, if I could fly immediately to Vegas saying that he needed a replacement for uh, Millie Kirkham at the time. It was August of 1970. So I got the call to go for just a couple of weeks with Elvis. And uh, really was not a, you know, a fan, so to speak, and uh, had, didn't appreciate what he did that much. I, there were some records I had, had liked, but I wasn't a fan. After the very first show that I saw, and having met him as a person, really impressed me. Uh, it, I was just in awe of his talent that, had, you know, somehow or another had never reached me via record as it did everyone else. But in person, it was just magical. And to this day, I've never seen a performer with that. I knew at the time that it was special. There was always that awareness that there was something very special happening. Looking back now, it's magnified a billion times to me. But, uh... There was that, I think everybody who was associated with him had this feeling that, that we were all somehow meant to be together. It was a very odd experience. I do love you with all my core.